Welcome to our channel. In this video we will discuss about the contribution of Muslim scholars towards medical knowledge. From the 8th century CE, while Europe descended into the Dark Ages, the Islamic world excelled at philosophy, science and mathematics. Known as the Islamic Golden Age, this era coincided with rise of Abbasid Caliphate, which ruled most of the Muslim world from Baghdad what is now Iraq. Centrally located between Europe and Asia, Baghdad became a hub for trade and exchanging of brilliant ideas. The city's scholars translated ancient Greek and Roman writers into Arabic as well as texts from Persia, India and China. However, rather than simply preserving or imitating these great works, Islamic thinkers expanded on them, making incredible advances and spreading this knowledge throughout Muslim world all the way from present-day Central Asia to Spain. Medicine was a central part of medieval Islamic culture. Islamic medicine was built on the legacies left behind by Greek and Roman physicians and scholars. Islamic scholars were strongly influenced by Elias Galen and Hippocrates, as well as by the Greek scholars of Alexandria, Egypt. Islamic scholars translated their voluminous writings from Greek into Arabic and then produced new medical knowledge based on those texts. In order to make the Greek tradition more accessible, understandable, and teachable, Islamic scholars assembled and ordered the vast and sometimes inconsistent Greco-Roman medical knowledge by writing encyclopedias and summaries. It was through reading Arabic versions that Western doctors learned of Greek medicine, including the works of Hippocrates and Galen, medieval and early. Modern scholars in Europe drew upon Islamic traditions and translations as the foundation for their medical enterprise. For example, Canon of Medicine, an encyclopedia of medicine in five books by Ibn Sina known as Avicenna in the West was translated into Latin and then disseminated in manuscript and printed form throughout Europe. During the 15th and 16th centuries alone, the Canon of Medicine was published more than 35 times. It is the most influential medical book of the Middle Ages. Besides Ibn Sina, the other Arab Islamic physicians who contributed to medical knowledge and influenced medical thinking in the West were Al Razi, Ibn Nafis, and Al Zarawi. The contribution of Muslim scholars in the various fields of knowledge from the 8th to the 14th century were astonishing. Alongside Baghdad, cities including Samarkand and Bukhara were also the bastion of learning and famous for scholars, seminaries, scientists, poets, and writers. One 11th century poet portrayed the city of Bukhara as the home of glory, the place of assembly of all eminent people of the age. Indeed, there was a saying that, the sun does not shine on Bukhara, it is Bukhara that shines on the sun. It was a time of great philosophers and scientists, including Rayan Biruni, Nasser al-Farabi, Jalaluddin Rumi, al-Ghazali, al-Khawarizmi etc. Equally, Samarkand was as a hub of Islamic Persian culture and boomed as vibrant center of commerce along the famed Silk Route. During this period, Central Asia was the hub of world culture, contributing significantly to the core civilizations of Europe, the Middle East and Asia including China and India. After the 1258 AD, however, the Islamic world experienced several tumultuous events that contributed to its political and economic decline leading to poverty in many Islamic countries. These events were the Crusades, Mongol invasions, natural disasters, loss of international trade, the capitulations of the Ottoman Empire to Western interests, and the rise of European imperialism.
The famous Arab historiographer and historian, Ibn Khaldun said, science thrives only in affluent societies. This is so true. History has repeatedly shown that science has indeed flourished only when an empire or a nation became mighty and rich. Because it depends on the infrastructure provided by the existence of affluence. Thanks for watching. Do follow and subscribe our channel at Extramodern.